Hello everyone and welcome back to Jimmy Talks Jira. We're going to finish off our Atlassian Access mini-series this week. Last week we were talking about how to enable and disable two-factor authentication for managed and unmanaged accounts within your Atlassian organization. This week I've saved the best for last. We are going to talk about how to set up user provisioning from a third-party identity provider. Let's not waste any more time and let's dive in. Okay, so let's talk about what is in scope and out of scope for this video. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Microsoft Azure Active Directory, uh, mainly because that's what I have familiarity with. I highly recommend going to the documentation. I will have links in the description of this video for it. The guides that are provided for each of the identity providers are very complete, uh, including diagrams of uh, what you should expect to see while you're trying to complete this. So uh, let's start here. I'm going to switch over to my Azure portal. So if you're following along with me and you are using Microsoft Azure for this, um, you're going to start by going to portal.azure.com. I am not going to dive into the details of how to set up a subscription and Azure AD. Uh, I have fumbled my way through that enough to show you the integration settings between uh, Atlassian Access and Microsoft Azure, uh, but I do not feel comfortable enough to say that this is the way you should set those things up. So, um, where we're going to begin is once you've got into your main portal page, you're going to go to Azure Active Directory Tile, and you're going to click on that. Now, um, since we are going to be doing uh, user provisioning in this video, we're going to start by going to Enterprise Applications, and we're going to click on a new application. Now, Atlassian Cloud should show up in the featured. If it doesn't, you can always use the search bar here to search for Atlassian, and then it should show up. So we're gonna click on Atlassian Cloud. You can change this name. I recommend leaving it at Atlassian Cloud. And we're gonna click the Create button. Now you'll see up here that it's showing that it is currently adding that application for us. So we're just gonna give it a few minutes uh, to complete that operation, uh, and then we can move on to the next steps. There we go. So uh, what we're going to do first for user provisioning is we're going to come to this assign users and groups and we're going to click on that link for that. Now, one thing that's worth noting, I have done this all on free trial accounts, which means the features and functionality I have available to me in this Azure AD instance is very limited. Um, normally what you would be doing here is you would click add users and groups and you would not get this uh, header bar of groups are not available due to uh, your plan level. Um, if you have a proper company paid for Azure AD, this is completely open and you will be able to do everything you need to. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna click on this none selected for users. I'm going to click my specific user and I'm gonna select it. And then I'm going to assign it. So what I have done now is for the Atlassian Cloud, I have assigned my single user as a provisioned user from the Azure AD side. What you would want to be doing here is setting up groups uh, within Azure AD that will, you will be synchronizing to Atlassian Access, and you'd add those groups. You may add a few individual users, but generally you're going to want to be adding groups. The next step we're going to do is we can go back to the overview here and then go to provision user accounts, or we can actually just go to provisioning on the side here. We're going to click on this get started button and we're going to change the provisioning mode from manual to automatic. So manual mode is the way we have been doing things where you control um, all of the user and group information in uh, Atlassian Access uh, under your managed accounts. Uh, by changing to automatic, we are going to say that no, Azure AD is now our source of truth and we are going to manage our accounts here. This will prevent you from actually making some of those changes on the managed account page, but that's what we want for this. So we'll change it to automatic. And this is where we're going to be doing some flipping back and forth between the two instances now. So we need some information from our Atlassian uh, organization admin page. So we're going to flip over there and go to our organization. We're gonna go into the settings menu and then we're going to go to user provisioning. 
This is going to ask us to create a directory, which is the um, third party identity provider that we're getting this from. So we are going to start by clicking the create a directory. It's going to ask us for a name. So I'm going to put in uh, Jimmy Talks Jira. And then I'm going to call it Azure AD. And I am going to create that. Now, right now, I want you to just remember this specific line right here. Store these somewhere safe. It will not be visible again once you close that. So if you're using something, some sort of password vault or something like LastPass, I recommend copying these out right now and getting them in there or at least putting them into Notepad because if you click on this Done button, you're going to have to scrap this directory and recreate it and that's just time wasted. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this directory base URL and we're going to go back to our provisioning page and we're going to copy that into the tenant URL. We're going to go back again and we're going to copy this API key and we're going to copy that into this secret token. Then we want to click the text connection button and you'll see it's testing and it says it's accepted, which just basically proves that our connection to Atlassian Access through Azure AD is working properly. So we're going to click the save button to save those update settings. And now you'll see we have a new mappings and a settings link in here. Um, this is one of those parts where I am not comfortable telling you how to set up the mappings of provisioning. Um, that is outside my knowledge realm, but these are things that um, your IT staff will probably want to look at to try and get the right set of users and groups uh, being synchronized between Azure AD and uh, your Atlassian Access user provisioning. So we're going to go back to our Atlassian Cloud app and you'll see that we are still at the provisioning tab here. If you're not there, just click on there to get there and you'll see these buttons at the top. Um, we are going to click the... I don't want to save you. Uh, we're going to click the start provisioning and you'll notice that uh, it has said it has started the provisioning. This can take a little bit of time. Um, and what that's basically going to do is the users and groups that we said we want to synchronize, it is going to start syn the synchronization process between our Azure AD and our Atlassian uh, Access Cloud. So we can come back here and we are going to click this Done button because we are now finished with that. I know I didn't copy these out, but this is just a test instance. And we're going to try clicking on this refresh button here. And perfect, look at that. So you see we have a synchronized user. And then if we go back here and we click on the refresh button, perfect. You see we have one synchronized user here. So what you should expect to see here is the number of users and the number of groups. And you will see users being synchronized if they are part of groups. And you want those numbers to match. So if you have one user showing on Atlassian, or sorry, in Azure AD, you want to see one user showing in Atlassian Access. That means the two are definitely in sync for those two. And then just to show you, uh, if we go back to our directory and our managed accounts, and we click on my user here, you will now see this account is managed by your identity provider. And it now has locks on those things that in a previous video we talked about how to change your email address. I can no longer do that because the intention is that I will do that on Azure AD. So why you would want to do this? This allows your IT staff to actually do all of the user and group management for you and which they probably are doing anyway, and you don't have to touch any of those settings on the Atlassian administration side of things. Um, this just makes it easier for you to manage those sorts of things. And that's all there is for setting up user provisioning. I hope this entire mini-series on Atlassian Access has been informative for you. Be sure to tune in next week for a new video. I'm not sure what we're doing quite yet, but it'll be a surprise. Unfortunately, Confluence Customer Love Month has come to the end, but I will still have a link to the article in the description so you can check out everything that happened over the course of the month. If you enjoyed this, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and please leave a comment below if there's something you'd like me to cover in the future. Thanks for stopping by.